Hello, I am Dr. Aguila Sami from Chennai. I am going to show you a case of my innovative techniques for easy endoscopic stepidotomy in left ear exposure. I am not going to show the full case here. I am mainly going to show my innovative things in exposure. Under local anesthesia, first thing is to give you an infiltration at one or two places with a 23 gauge one and a half inch needle. Then making an incision with my own innovation, Dr. Aguila's endoscopic diathermy knife. Then I will be showing the elevation, how it is bloodless, usually with single handed endoscopic elevation of diminometer flap, it is a nightmare sometimes. So how the field looks in this, my way of technique, you can appreciate. Next, I will be showing the how the posterior uh, bony overhang is being removed with a chisel. And the uh, rest of the steps, I will be highly editing. I will not be showing the full steps. Of course, for completion, I will show a glimpse of all those things. After making a diathermy with an uh, incision with a diathermy knife, I am elevating with the round knife. Either you can use the same knife or use a ro uh, ordinary rosin knife. Sometimes I prefer the uh, ordinary rosin knife because the diathermy knife has a cable attached to it which is little bit heavy of course i use that also and uh, to have a little long vt and it's a little bit costlier than this i sometimes use routine rosin knife for this see the absolutely very minimal or bloodless quality of the field no hardships no struggle with the bleeding points This stepidectomy, being, stepidectomy is being done in a 28 year old female on the left ear. For a conductive hearing loss around 45 to 50 decibels. And these patients are taken under a moderate IV sedation. For the infiltration, I use ropivacaine 0.5%. 10 ml with 15 drops of adrenaline. For cotton ball, 4% lignocaine 1 ml and uh, adrenaline 1 ml. There's a, one small bleeder in the canal. Yes, that's a small bleeder. I'm just sucking the blood out. This bleeder may trouble the surgery throughout. Of course, there is no bleeding from the incision site area or anything. I am using the adrenaline xylocaine cotton ball. Wait for some time, whether the who stops or not. Still, the bony canal perforator is oozing. So, I am just buzzing coagulating with the same Dr. Aguila's diathermy knife. See, the bleeding has stopped. Now I am elevating the timonomiator flap to enter into the middle ear space. Look at the beauty of the field quality and everything with my innovative instrument. You can do these steps very fast if there is no bleeding like this. Just going to enter into the middle ear, the cord artibine is coming into the view. So I am entering the middle ear, opening it. So the incudus tepidal joint is seen and malice is seen. So we have to have the full view of the incus and stay piece. So the bony overhang has to be removed. Many use drill, some use curettes. In drill, the bony particles fly and uh, frequently fogs. And curette, it takes a longer time. So I use 
my own detail dr ahilas endoscopic one mm chisel or uh, sometimes i use two mm chisel to take out the bone in one chunk this bony chunk can be again replaced also see hardly couple of strokes but your uh, left hand you are holding the endoscope and with the right hand you are holding the chisel and uh, you ask the assistant to tap it gently in one stroke you got it so beautiful and full exposure and little raw bone i am just curating with that same curate and now you can see the full incus is exposed step is in course cipital tendon foot plate everything it's a thin foot plate with the perforator i am making the perforation again making wide now i am using the teflon piston which has been measured for around 4.5 mm the cord has been preserved and the piston is crimped we check the hearing on the table and the patient has a very good hearing then we close it now i am just dislocating fracturing the anterior and posterior crora and just removing it and just fast forwarding the rotting steps just bending text replacing the flap thank you for watching see you in another beautiful video thank you you can contact me at this above address anytime thank you